Have you ever tried to learn a language before but failed? You're not alone. Over 88% of all American high school students are enrolled in language classes. In Canada, almost every province requires some form of French education, but less than 1% actually succeed. This isn't just in North America, it happens all over the world. Why does it happen? And more importantly, why can't we learn foreign languages? The path to fluency in a foreign language seems quite simple. All you have to do is memorize some words and memorize some grammar. With enough hard work and dedication, you'll get to the end of the road someday. Right? Wrong. Why doesn't this work? Is it because we're too lazy? Is it because 99% of all teachers are unable to teach? In reality, it's because language is being taught incorrectly. So what is the proper way to learn a language? To find out the answer to that question, we're going to have to go back in time to the 1970s and listen to the American linguist Dr. Stephen Krashen who was responsible for the input hypothesis. In Dr. Krashen's own words, the input hypothesis is, we acquire language and develop literacy in only one way, when we understand messages. But what does that mean? That means when we understand what people tell us, or when we understand what we read. This is called comprehensible input. When we listen to interesting stories, have engaging conversations, read good books, or even binge TV shows, we will, as a result, develop vocab and grammar skills. You might notice the input hypothesis doesn't require speaking or writing. All you have to do is get input in your target language. An excellent example of this is Carly Fleischmann, a woman with a form of non-verbal autism. Although she can't speak a word, her family spoke to her throughout her life. It was assumed she didn't understand any language but at age 11, she ran to a computer and started typing to her family. To everyone's surprise, Carly was completely fluent in English and could understand everything that was said to her. I just found out Carly has her own YouTube channel, link in the description below. The input hypothesis is in direct opposition to the skill building hypothesis, which states that you first memorize grammar, vocabulary, and repeat phrases after the teacher. The idea is that with enough repetition, it will become automatic and you'll be fluent in the language. It sounds pretty reasonable, but there's just one big issue. Skill building doesn't work. We can't prove that a person has ever successfully acquired a language through this method. Comprehensible input is both enjoyable and effective. Skill building is just as boring as watching paint dry and it doesn't even work. There's one other issue. Most people, including language educators, don't even know the skill building hypothesis has not been proven and it is blindly regarded as the only way to learn a language. We now know the distinction between the skill building hypothesis and the input hypothesis, but comprehension is not black and white, so what makes something comprehensible? To answer that, we'll once again hop into the Brad Summers time machine, but this time to the 1980s, and watch a short clip from Stephen Krashen. In this clip, Stephen Krashen speaks German while drawing a face. Pay attention to how much you can understand. Kopf. Das ist Mr. Spock, ja? Mr. Spock hat zwei Ohren. Ohren. Verstehen Sie Ohren? Er hat zwei Ohren. Okay, Mr. Spock. Ja? Ach, nein. Entschuldigung. Okay. Augen. Verstehen Sie Augen? Augen. Wie viele Augen? Eins, zwei, drei Augen. Drei Augen. Ist das richtig? Drei Augen? Nein. Wir haben nur zwei Augen. Mund. Verstehen Sie Mund? Und da. Hier ist eine Zigarette, ja? Nein. Zigaretten sind nicht gut. Before watching that video, I didn't know any German. But now that I can say zwei Ohren, I'm pretty much a native speaker. This is how comprehensible input works. Although there isn't enough research to know the exact percent of comprehension needed to make the most progress. Krashen believes the bare minimum is 50%. We now know what comprehensible input is, but novels and TV shows intended for native speakers will likely be out of reach. Here are some ways to increase the comprehensibility of the content you want to consume. Before watching a TV show or a movie, consider reading the summary. Doing this can help you focus on the language. Read simplified books which are also called graded readers. These are books that have easier to understand grammar and consist of only the most frequently used words. Read visual novels or graphic novels. Pictures can help you understand the story just a little bit more. 
In summary, try to spend time with the language watching TV shows, reading, and listening to stories. The language acquisition will quickly follow.